Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Morning Meet of Indian English. This is Mehul Kothari from the Research Desk. Today is 12th Feb 2020. Well, the past couple of sessions have witnessed a roller coaster ride for the participants on the D Street. Monday's fall was followed by a sharp surge in the benchmark indices during yesterday's session. The index Nifty spot started the session with an upside gap of around 75 points and kept gaining strength to register an intraday high of 12172. However, some profit booking during the second half of the session at higher levels forced the index to close near 12,100 mark with a modest gain of 75 points. So, meanwhile, the Nifty Bank index closed with a gain of 242 points. The market breadth turned in the favor of declining counters as the day progressed with 708 advances versus 919 declines. On the sectoral front, apart from Nifty FMCG, none of the group indices ended in red. Among the gainers, Nifty Media and Nifty Metal counters were the top performers yesterday. The broader market indices like Midcap 100 and Small Cap 100 ended with a change of 0.08 percent and 0.21 percent, respectively. That too on a positive side. So uh, basically, yesterday's FNDO data indicates that FII remained very uh, very bullish uh, on the index future. Yesterday they bought fresh index futures and also there was a short covering. So in yesterday's podcast or conference call, we discussed that. the long to short ratio of fis have been 16% which is the lowest of, of uh, past one or one to two years so possibility of bounce cannot be ruled out so yesterday there was a bounce in the index and now that ratio has reached to 20% so we'll have to see uh, what happens uh, uh, in today's session basically technically the upset resistance for nifty is now at 12170 to 12200 for the day downside support is 12100 below that there could be some selling in the market and the next major support is 12000 for this uh, series expiry uh, for this week expiry with regards to bank nifty 31000 once again acted as a resistance during yesterday's session despite such a sharp surge uh, bank nifty was unable to cross 31500 on the uh, 31500 on the higher side so in today's session also 31500 will be a crucial resistance only a move above that uh, would propel the index towards further higher levels on the downside support is now at 31200 followed by 31000 for the coming session with regards to uh, stocks uh, we are bearish on sun tv for a couple of days one can look forward to short sun tv uh, oro pharma is a positional short on the buy side yesterday we initiated india bull housing finance uh, near to 335 odd levels the upside target is 375 although it reached 365 yesterday but it has come down to 340 odd levels so one can again look forward to buy india bull housing finance uh, near to 330 levels on the downside stop loss will be 315 upside target we maintain 375 to 400 could be the next targets so that's it on the technical front now i'll hand it over to mr darmesh khan thank you very much everyone yeah, good morning all uh, so uh, green morning today uh, yesterday us markets you know not stuff all time highs however it cooled off during the closing hours and ended on a flattish note so the markets have taken note of the corona virus uh, outbreak and uh, the they are putting it aside as you know the, the news flow from china seems to be positive as people have started returning back to their workplace and uh, the news flow is dialed by this month and it will peak out so and the best part has been it has been contained only in china so this morning even asian markets are trading for magic nifty is pointing to a positive start do the breadth of the market has not been very conclusive in this pullback rally which has happened uh, but from here on if the market stabilizes and pulls up further Uh, we can see the breadth of the market improving going forward uh, as of now the things looks i mean on the macro front things looks to be uh, pretty under control for our market crude is trading below 50 dollars on the nymex part and currency is stable so these are tailwinds uh, for our economy at the same time the numbers which have come up have been a mixed set of number nothing great has been there but at the same time disappointments have not been there so far be it in the banking or financial space or the other markets we expect this positive momentum to continue from tomorrow we would be concluding the earnings update for you we'll issue a detailed note the sectors to watch out for would be financials primarily the Uh, private and public sector banking space cement uh, looks attractive and automobiles uh, like hero motor corp is looking good at current uh, level so these are the areas where one should be focusing on and going for the buy trade for the day i think the buyers will remain to buy the dips and uh, 
or uh, there is a slight uh, positive moment to buy that however uh, i may hold be indicating you about the you know levels and if a sell trigger a sell call is there on a technical ground pay heed to that i would recommend you to go with that call if it is tra- uh, triggered during the course of the day mehul would be letting you know about it and that is all from rn nothing much to update as of now thank you so much have a nice day happy trading